Psh, tech news? Uh, where did you get that idea? No, we talk about celebrity gossip here. Yeah, uh, no. What's that? Yeah, no, like daily is tech news, so. Tech news? Mm, I don't think so. Uh, well, mm. you've been doing this for three years now, so. Doesn't, doesn't ring a bell. I don't, hmm. I don't know. Usually we hear foldable phone rumors from Samsung, LG, and the like, but this one is about Microsoft. The company filed a patent discovered by MS Power user that contained images and explanations of a large phone with a book-style hinge, which could be propped up in various ways like a two-in-one PC. What's particularly interesting is that the patent was filed by Kabir Siddiqui, who also filed the patents for the kickstand and camera used in the Surface Pro. So could this be a similarly unconventional design that makes it to fruition? I don't know, this patent was filed in October 2014, but Surface Phone rumors have been flying for a while now. Would you guys see any use for a foldable slash bendable phone? Leave a comment, friend. Up here in Canada, we're hearing all about delivery drones being tested and worked on everywhere else in the world. Well, you know what? We deserve to have maple syrup brought to us too. Or that's what Drone Delivery Canada thinks anyways. That's an appropriately Canadian name, by the way. Perfectly descriptive and dull. Transport Canada has just approved the company's test range located near Foremost, Alberta, so DDC can practice delivering goods to those far-flung northern communities that have to usually wait for planes or trucks to get all the way out there, eh? Well, I mean, it ain't bad if you take the Moose Hill Highway, but then you gotta turn off the 94, so... Yeah, drones would be good. And since phones are exploding left and right these days, researchers at Stanford University have developed a lithium ion battery with a built-in fire extinguisher. They accomplished this by replacing the separator that lies between the positive and negative sides of the battery with fibrous threads of triphenylphosphate, a common flame retardant instead of regular old polyethylene. This means as soon as a battery ignites, it breaks the shell of the separator, which extinguishes the flames. The researchers say their design doused battery fires in as little as 0.4 seconds during testing. Dang! Well, it won't save our phones, but at least you won't burn a hole in your pocket when your phone explodes. We're expecting phones to explode now. This, this isn't good. Those were the slow bits. Now it's time for quick bits. Speaking of exploding phones, the Samsung Galaxy S8, ooh. They're never gonna live the Note 7 down. Leaks have sprung up indicating there will only be the Edge variant of the S8 this time around, no regular flat screen version. Everybody's got curved edges, man. Don't be a square. The Raspberry Pi Foundation has launched the Compute Module 3, a smaller and sleeker version of the Pi 3, featuring double the RAM and a 10 times boost in performance over the original Compute Module, which was released in 2014. Good luck convincing your mom to buy it for you. Better save up. It's 30 bucks. The big cheese at Valve and PC gaming lord Gabe Newell will be holding an Ask Me Anything on Reddit tomorrow, January 17th at 3 p.m. Pacific. So if you have any burning questions for the man, say about why the heck Half-Life 3 is apparently dead for good, you can have him not to answer them. Self-driving cars? Uh, no thanks. I'll take a self-flying car, if you please. Because Airbus says they'll have a prototype by the end of the year, and it's probably gonna really happen this time. Nintendo Switches are selling out everywhere they're available for pre-order, apparently, so hopefully this means that parents actually understand it's a new console this time. And for those wondering whether the Switch would signal the death of the 3DS, Nintendo of America president Reggie fils says the two systems are meant to coexist, but that's what they said about the Game Boy and DS, and look what happened there. DS killed Game Boy. Killed it dead. News sources for all of today's stories can be found in the NCIX forum post linked in the description. Hey, strong man devil! <laughs> Happy birthday! May it be full of wonder, joy, and Haribo gummy bears. They're terrible for you, apparently, but it's your B-Day. Treat yourself. What the what? I didn't even know I was wearing this sweater. It's almost like I was born wearing it. And I haven't changed once since I was born. Because I don't know about you, but I was born to play. Play what? Games, presumably. But I could also be playing any number of other things. Musical instruments, a character, the system. This is probably referring to games, though, specifically. If you were also born to play, tell everyone you know and even people you don't know about it by getting your own Born to Play pullover at NCX.com. And Xfusion is what they're called, the line. Click the link in the corner, or don't, if you were born to do something else, like work hard and accomplish real things. 
All right, that's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Click over here for previous videos. Uh, the rest of our CES 2017 videos are coming out uh, sh slowly but surely. I think we have four more. So uh, click there for the whole playlist. Uh, this is too long now. Like us and subscribe. Fans of benefits. I uh, gotta go. There's no time. <laughs> There's no time.